Foxtrot plays Lost Evan. We're here with Doug, and I'm still hunting for all those extra sirens and extra bullshit. Because, yeah. <coughs> so, uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, people. Like, I'm just going to make this uh, announcement, because I don't think I'll be able to do... Uh, Hell point this week either simply because yesterday um, we did a writing jam session for a project not gonna say what um, but I was like so dead from this from this burrito that I ate that I couldn't do anything about it uh, I barely did we do any record oh yeah we did one yeah. it was just uh, hotel dusk and I had to I had to power through that in all honesty. So I was. Yeah, you, were, you already did sound like you were already dead. Yeah, I was dead. <laughs> so um, I don't even know if I'm gonna do another video of, of Cyberpunk because due to the internet connectivity issues, I already have a video planned, and it's gonna be the one where we save Randy because that was already. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that was already recorded uh, before the it, before my connection was just all like, hey Doug, yeah, you don't have internet right now. <laughs> What is internet? Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, my fucking papa sucks. Oh, Doug's complaining about the apartment complex. And in other news, the sky continues to be blue and the world continues to not give a shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so, no hell, I, I don't, like, I will hunt for mama slug. It's just not, it's probably just not gonna be with me. It, it's its own time frame. Yeah. Anyway, so. <coughs> mm. Mm. Uh, so, um. There was, um. Resident Evil 4, babe. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't. Yeah, in fact. Here's some context, people, because I brought this up on the Slab Lounge, which you, which you should totally watch. Um, like, I didn't want to do a Slab Lounge this uh, this past week, but I decided to do so based on two key factors, and one of them was re uh, I saw the Resident Evil 4 made, and I'm just all like, what have you done to that classic, you bastards? Mm. Doug was not happy oh, with what he saw. Shame, bro. Oh, so. Mm hmm Like, I'm okay, don't get me wrong, I'm okay with, with remakes, so, uh, if, if it's, if A, they're necessary, or B, they, they do better than the original. Like, John Carpenter's The Thing, that 1982 horror classic, I still consider to be the best horror movie, uh, uh so far. Because, like, no other horror movie has managed to scare me as hard as, um, John Carpenter's The Thing. No other I mean, there, there was, don't get me wrong, there were some close seconds, but not a lot of them. Yeah, see, mine was always still the first hell. Yeah, yeah. all 15 hours of air. The only... Either of those two. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, cite the, well, was it the cabin? With my, uh, uh, Jordan Peele's horror movie? Yes. Yeah, that was a close second, but it's still... I mean, like, the way the thing just panned out and the open-endedness that it, like, gave you at the end. Because, like, there's a fan theory that's roaming around that says, um, uh, uh, Keith David's character, Giles, was consumed yeah. by the thing. But I'm like, no, that's, that you just don't know. It's not, that's not necessarily true. You just don't know. In fact, they kind of tried to confirm that he wasn't when, um, they finally made that one sequel to the thing for the PS2 that was that was no longer acknowledged as canon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they actually did get Kurt Russell to, uh, was, did they get Kurt Russell, or did they just get the, 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 the voice work he did when he was recording that audio tape thing? I think it was just an audio tape, because I think it, it sounded like he wasn't. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that, 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 I, I never played that game, I never played the, the, 
the PS2 thing. Yeah. The thing for the PS2. I heard it. I, I heard they tried, tried, but it wasn't. But yeah, no, I hadn't played it either. Yeah, I. I don't know why I never played it. Whatever. But anyway, that's like one of the. Never fell into your lap yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Well, you know what? I'll take. The, you know what? I will accept that. Um. Because it's just like a PSYOPs of Mind Gate Conspiracy. I just never got around. I just never found the time for, to get it. Sometimes just happens. Yeah. You'll you'll want to play something, but it just doesn't fall into your lap, and then it's not there for you. And you're like, oh, you're accessible. <laughs> yeah. Um. But um. What was I? What was I trying to say? Oh yeah. So that's like one, like what, like one of the case scenarios where a reboot. Can, uh, does better than the original. Um, another one, I guess you can say, is Mortal Kombat 9, but that's mainly because Mortal Kombat never really did a good job of talking about what the hell what happened, yeah, except for like, until that's like that's uh, uh, MK Deception and shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of hard to ever know whose storyline was supposed to be the canonical storyline, mm -hmm. and then when you would find out, you'd be like, but, but. <laughs> yeah. That overlooks a lot of other people. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck you, you stupid That's fish. It. They dropped the Um, the what? What other? What's another good reboot? I guess. Hmm. Well, I guess. Uh, ah. Whatever, I, my mind's drawing the blink right now, but like, at the very least, uh, that's... Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. it, it's usually pretty rare that it's not like, awesome. mm -hmm. Remake. Unless it really is, like, something that's super older. You know what? No, I got a good one. I got a good one. I got a good one. Uh, the GameCube Resident Evil 1. Okay, I'll be fine. Yeah. Because there's still idiots that think that Resident Evil One had good had good controls, so they were just so they basically did that and like made the mansion bigger. What? I mean, like, I think it's stupid. I think it's still fucking stupid. But then again, you know, I'll wholeheartedly acknowledge a good remake. And to be fair, they took Resident Evil for the PlayStation One and did that to it. And I give them prop props, because, like, yeah. they improved the voice acting, the writing is still stupid, but, like, they improved the voice acting, they improved the graphics, and they, uh, they improved the gameplay. Because, like, that was the first time you could actually... I think that introduced the whole... Oh, no. Resident Evil 3 introduced the... No, they introduced... Resident Evil 3 introduced, uh, introduced the dodge mechanic, not the parry mechanic, yeah. but then you had to actually have a weapon. On top of being the master of law. God mastery truth. Mm-hmm. The master of unlocking. I heard somewhere that um uh God. John Carpenter wanted to do a movie on Resident Evil, and then they submitted the script to Cat uh, so he had his assistant like play the the uh, first Resident Evil game. Uh, no. I think it was either the first Resident Evil game for the PlayStation or the the GameCube Resident Evil. Either way, uh, he had his assistant play the game so he could get a better idea as to what the hell to do. So then he submitted his script to Capcom, and get this, Capcom said that the writing was terrible. And they went with the Alice Resident Evil movies. Damn it, but how bad was it? I don't know! How bad must they have thought? Cause that's... Oh yeah, because Resident Evil is known for having good writing. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. That makes no sense. If there's, it would have to be pretty bad, or then their minds at least pretty bad, for them to be like, yeah, Alice makes more sense. We're we're already butchering everything. Else. Oh my goodness, and that's saying something because I watched, I tried to watch Resident Evil. I think it was called Extinction. Oh, oh! I tried. Off the wall. I tried like four times to get past the two-minute mark. Couldn't do it. My buddy was all like, "Doug, I know it's bad. That's why I'll help you. Uh, I'll help you through it. Let's watch it together." I still couldn't do it. <laughs> nah. 
It, it doesn't. The only way it works is you have to watch one movie into the next so that you have that suspension of like an adventure. Well, it's not just that. If I mean, you like, just try to pick up one on its own in any part of its thing, it's down. traumatic. It's not just that. It was literally because I, I know the context. I mean, I know the Resident Evil movie, the Alice Resident Evil canon. And I'm just, yeah. I just couldn't. It was like the Dead or Alive movie. Oh. Oh. I. That's. That, that was yeah. a straight no. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That movie. Oof. I. It sounds like that had you feeling kind of ways. <laughs> I don't know how that movie got greenlit. I don't even know how the Tekken movie got greenlit. And I'm just all like, the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> oh my god! That's how it's working nowadays. People also can get through the door. Yeah, right? Ooh, nice. Oh, dude, like, the other night I was watching a Hellpoint speedrun yeah. to see, like, how this guy, his character, he stunlocked everybody. I'm serious when I say that. Yeah, no, he stunlocked everyone. Like, Uthos couldn't do a damn thing. Not one fucking thing. Nemundus just kept getting hit, hit, just kept hitting, just smacked to the ground. Same yeah. goes with Veer was just, he made Veer his bitch, and I'm just all like, wow. I didn't even see any of Veer's movesets. So wait, how high was that strength in the it wasn't his strength. I think it was like his uh, re either reflex or um, stem. Either reflex or stamina. That would be weird because if I remember correctly, I thought that stack was based on. Mm -hmm. All I can tell you is this: the best ranged weapon in the game, by their standards, is uh, the, is the light cube. Woo! Yeah, because the, the because of the Contra spread shot. I do like that one. Yeah. So he just stagger the motherfucker, then sh then just unload on him with uh, with um, with the light cube because he put like a billion points into foresight. Makes sense. Yeah, and only some points into cognition. Yeah, it's kind of idea. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, wow, okay. Oh my god. I was just like, wow, okay. I wasn't even jelly. I was not jelly. Like, I, I, like, I, I'm not jelly. Like, with most speedrunners, yeah, I, I, I get jelly of peanut butter a lot. Because, um, uh, you know, they, they expose all the weird glitches and shit. Like, um, for instance, um... What's a what's a well-known glitch that's basically in every video? Uh, oh, okay. Here's a good one. Here's a good glitch. You played Metroid, right? Yeah. Uh, the bomb jump glitch. The infinite bomb uh, jump glitch. Yeah. So he yeah. so like there are speedrunners that basically do that and skip entire portions of the game that I know uh, personally were a pain in the ass, and I'm just like, you son of a bitch. But like with Hellpoint, like I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I, just, I just couldn't, I couldn't be pissed <laughs> at all. Like I no, be mad. I couldn't be mad. I could not be mad. Well, I yeah, I, I was like super shocked. I was just like, man, props to you. Or like the, um, oh yeah, like uh, or um, how um, uh, there's someone that beat Zelda 64 in like 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm just all like, you skipped over all of that? 
he, the man skipped over the water temple. Like he didn't even he the only the only dungeon this man actually played before before the before triggering said glitch was the Deku Tree Run, and that's it. After that, he used this one glitch that literally teleported him to the uh, to the Ganon fight, and I'm just you uh. piece of shit. <laughs> I was seriously like, you piece of shit. You're expecting to get like a whole trip and it's just like... I yeah! Then, yeah, like I said, don't even get started with, um... Yeah, so it's like, yeah, oh, they're, they're, they're just speed runs that will just piss me off because they just did all that and I'm like, fuck you. But like with the hell point, like I said, with hell point I can't, I can't, I can't, because that, that... That was just amazing stuff. He just yeah. used. He didn't like this person used a glitchless speed, uh, a glitchless run, with the exception of like. Uh, well, those aren't glitches. Those are exploits. So um, um, uh, he just he just he just used the game's mechanics and just destroyed everyone. And here I am, just like, dude, props, power to you, my <laughs> god. Wow. That's usually the fun after you beat a game the first time. You're like, alright, so how can I break it now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, as much as I want to do that, like, it was, for me it was more vindication. Because, like, you know, like, um, Gobblecock just completely destroyed, you know, my, uh, uh, my Harlequin, etc. Yeah. I mean, Ozzy went down to, like, six shots from my Black Ops sniper rifle, and I'm just all like, eat it. And then Uthos just was all like, yeah, no, I have to put you back into reality. Don't worry, I'll get my revenge on Uthos. <laughs> I'll fuck him. I will fuck him up. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Ugh. Oh, other than that, I mean, like... Wait, what was I talking about to begin with? <laughs> I mean, I, didn't, oh, I think it was just the, the, the speed run, the speed run bits, but whatever. Yeah, it was fun. She just kind of got super uh, sidetracked. Super sidetracked. Uh, oh, Resident Evil 4, you bastards. Fuck you, Capcom. Ruining that game. But it loves you. Ugh. <sighs> If they love, if it loved me so much, why'd they take away the it boss fight, or how, did, or the, or the getting chased by a giant robot? Hell, apparently, from what I heard, because um, because uh, Yasi did a review on it. He, like, apparently, like the, you know how you're playing Resident Evil Four, and then like out of nowhere, Napoleon contacts you on the, on the, on your walkie, and you're just having that weird back and forth banter bits. Yeah, they took that out. Good random kind of off-putting moment too. Yeah, because all of a sudden he's on your radio, and although it's it's funny and you're kind of like that, you're also like, how the fuck did you get asked? <laughs> yeah, that's gone too. Apparently they fleshed out Lewis's character because he was he's not just that random guy that's just kind of there and gets killed in the end, or not in the end. He gets killed in like the like the fucking beginning of the game. But, oh, like, yeah, okay, so now we have to care about it? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll make it. <laughs> yeah, but, like, what are they gonna do with Resident Evil 5? Are they gonna make sure that you get to, you go on a black guy killing simulator again? <laughs> yes. But this time you will also be black. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, and, like, uh, the, the... They will send Shadow to do it. Mm-hmm. And who knows, maybe Shiva's gonna be the one that boulder punches, not Chris. Nah. She's gonna boulder kick. <laughs> she's gonna boulder kick, okay. Yeah, it'll give it'll give them proper ass shots for you know. Everything. Oh yeah, 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 I could I could see that. Yeah, get the money. <laughs> mm hmm Chris didn't get the money. Shiva kicking things would get the money. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I gotta ask, what are you doing? <laughs> Literally try. One of her missions says to explore this dungeon. This specific man. Mm hmm. 
The only reason it's not saying that it's done is because there's something I've discovered. I'm pretty sure it links to one of the bosses. It took me a while, but what it is, is I need to go find the other second. Because oh. I killed one. And okay. I have to find the other one, so that the final one will spawn here, so I can get the boss killed, and I can complete the mission. Oh, okay. But it took me a while to figure it out, so I'm technically here for it. And oh, that's no. why okay. it keeps being like, oh, you didn't complete this maze. Because the boss isn't in it, but you need to kill the boss, and it's like... Okay. But it took me a while to think back and be like, oh yeah, that boss has like three body doubles before it fucking spawns, and it's gonna spawn it. Okay. I, I so just, I'm just early, but it, it mentally I didn't think about it for a while, so I kept going back and forth trying to make sure like I didn't miss something, because I'm like, the boss should be fucking triggered. Okay. I was just gonna say, though, um, uh, when I'm looking at those canopies, I'm just all like, okay, what the- Oh, they're underwater trees. That's- that's pretty badass. Alright. Yeah. That was awesome. They use all the environment good in this, and, like, even when you go into a different screen of the same type, you don't feel like you're in the same area. There's never a moment where I leave one screen and then be like, oh, I'm in that same place a moment ago. I can pretty much pick out each one that I enter. Okay. And be able to walk back and be like, yeah, this isn't the room. Mm -hmm. Like, they're each one designed uniquely to where you, even though they all have the same thing, they're just designed enough for you to be like, this is that. Mm -hmm. So I need to be prepared for this room, just because it's one. You just know. Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, but anyway, um, uh, so, yeah, so Lewis is now, uh, actually has a character. Yeah. Take from that what you will. I mean, I guess if you need to flesh out somebody else. But, uh, I don't know. I'm fucking, whatever. Like, I'll get over it, but I'm, I'm still not gonna buy the RE4 make. I, uh, that's never gonna happen. I probably will eventually, but it's not top on my list because I've been putting off on the other thing. It's more cost. Like, oh, okay. Not not like hesitation. I was I was overzealous when I bought three and then had to wait like a week for monies because I was like, I'm gonna get three when it comes out. Oh, okay. And so now out of print four, I'm like, you know what? We're gonna wait for deals like a normal person. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I didn't want to play, like, I played the 3 make, like, I can tolerate it, but, like, or, no, I didn't play the 3 make, I take that back, because I don't, uh, I played the 2 make because the demo was out. I mean, uh, yeah, but, like, I, like it, was, it was okay, but I, I'm not, I'm just, like, you know, it's, eh. Well, see, 3 was always more the one that I was linked with, so that's why I had no issues just being like, yes, three, you can have my money. And I mean, so, <coughs> but I didn't dislike one or two, it's just five has been it's three, so those have always just kind of sat there waiting for my return. Oh, okay. Like, and then uh, seven, I was always just behind anyway. Because when seven came out, I was just catching up on six, that thing. And... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that sticks. That thing. Uh, oh. I love Ada's there, but Ada, why did you have to be there? Or why'd you put your name on that? Oh, <laughs> if you thought, ha ha ha, if you love Ada, she doesn't have her iconic red dress in, in the four make. Uh, what did they give her? Uh, apparently, like, she's not in that, like... Is it even Ada-esque? No. Like, can I... No! They yeah, know. no. It's not even Ada-esque. It's literally, like, they just... They took that outfit out, replaced it with, like, something not so... Because, like, yes, Ada is supposed to be, like, this sensual, seductive, secret agent type. Yeah, no, they just put her in, so they put her in something else completely. Like, something that's what the fuck? actually... It's not like she's my share of Nui or some shit. Like, come on. 
Her tits aren't just out there all the time. <laughs> well, except in six, but that doesn't count because that's some weird... Mm-hmm. I don't... Look, the plot's confusing, and I fucking <laughs> don't know if that was, like, true Ada tits or, like, demon sludge clone Ada tits. <laughs> like... There's a lot. There was a lot happening in that game all at the same time trying to canonically exist. Mm -hmm. I just... I don't... Deflecting of rockets. That's banned at a level. Why? (laughs) Welcome to the... Welcome to the RE4 make, Captain (laughs) K. I don't know if they... The only things that I don't know that RE4 that the RE4 make contains are this. I don't know if uh, uh, Assignment Ada is in it, and I don't know if they took out Mercenaries mode. Okay. If they took out I Mercenaries mode, I would think they wouldn't take fucking... out Mercenaries mode, given that one, that's stable, and two, nothing else. Everybody will keep playing Mercenaries mode. If they took out Mercenaries mode, dude, I'm gonna be fucking done. Cause like Mercenaries. Oh no, mode... they're doomed if they did. Yeah, that's like, are you fucking yeah, kidding that, me? That, that, that shit used was to great. be even with the game. That was what everyone loved. Is after which you could do that. Yeah, I mean, like I like. Don't get me wrong. I like New Game Plus, but like, nope. Thanks to Mercenary Mode, I like. I still maintain. Uh, no, pe- I know people have tr- uh, like some people trashed me because I was like, oh, the highest kill streak I got was uh, Hunk because I had like sixty kills in a row. I just flash them. I just flash bang them. Just, uh, snap their neck. Yeah. Because it's insta-kill. And like, oh, Doug, only 60 kills. I got like 200. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to care. <laughs> but I yeah, tell like, I'm not losing my life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, cause, uh, like, the only limitation that I could say I had at the time was I was using GameCube controller. Now I have mouse and keyboard. If I put my oh, effort, well, if I put more effort into it, I know I could be better because I, appro- because I like the free flow movement of the mouse and keyboard. Granted, like, you know, you'd still have to deal with, like, some of the stupid decisions, like, um, uh, you have to actually, I think you have to actually, I forgot, because I haven't played RE4 on my PC for a while, so it's like, A and D is to turn rather than strafe, so, you know, keep that in mind. Oh, okay. Mm. But yeah, welcome well, to the RE4. Next time, come join us where we actually figure out where that boss is, so that I can beat it to make it fully manifest. Because I guess it thinks it's fucking Dracula or something and needs to be dragged out. 